Hey guys, what's up? This is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to do a detailed gaming review of Nokia 7.1 smartphones by playing few of the most high-end heavy graphics game. Along with the gaming performance we will also check the battery performance when we are playing all of these high-end games and also we will monitor the temperature whether the device is going to get hot after playing all of these high-end games. So let's just start it. So the games today we got here they are Injustice 2, Shadowgun Legends, Modern Combat 5, Warhammer 40,000, Mortal Kombat and PUBG Mobile. The battery percentage level is 37 and right now the battery temperature is 27 degrees C and the CPU temperature is 31 degrees Celsius. So let's just start with Injustice 2. So the volume is full, now let's play the game. So the graphics quality is really nice, no frame drops or lagging. And the audio quality is nice as well. So my finger is covering the speaker sometimes while playing the game otherwise everything is nice and smooth, no frame drops, no lagging, the graphics quality is really nice. While playing Injustice 2, there was no frame drops, no lagging, and no issue of any kind. Everything was nice and smooth, and the graphics quality was great as well. So now let's play something else. Let's play Shadowgun Legends. It is one of the most high-end heavy graphics game, and it runs at 60 FPS. So as you can see in the game settings of Shadowgun Legends, the graphics quality is selected as ultra high, and FPS limit is 60. So the graphics quality is really nice, there was slight frame drop just now. So you can see that the graphic quality is really nice, gameplay is smooth as well, no frame drops or lagging. There was one frame drop in the very beginning. So the graphics quality is really nice, the gameplay is nice as well, but sometimes it feels that it's not so smooth, it's not lagging or it's not like that there is a frame drops happening, but sometimes it's not 
so smooth. It's And it's a 3D graphics game, so camera angles are changing pretty quickly as well. And here I go, I'm dead right now. So if I go back from here and go to Injustice 2 once again, you can see game is exactly where I left. So you can play at least two high and heavy graphics games side by side without any issue as you can see that. I was playing Injustice 2, didn't close, went to Shadow and Legends. When I came back to Injustice 2, it is exactly where I left it. So this is really nice. Let's close them all and now the device is a bit hot so the battery percentage is 32 from 37 and the battery temperature is 38 degrees celsius and the cpu temperature is 45 degrees celsius right now so both the battery and cpu temperature is high now compared to the moment when we started playing the game and now let's play mortal kombat So you can see how nice is the graphics quality of Modern Combat X here. So the gameplay was really smooth and the graphics quality was so nice. No frame props or lagging. So even while playing Mortal Kombat X, there is no frame drops, no lagging, and especially the graphics quality is really nice as you can see here. So, now let's play something else. Let's play Modern Kombat 5. It's one of the most high and heavy graphics games, and it runs at 60 FPS as well. So, here in the graphics setting, I'm going to select the FPS limit as 60 and the graphic quality cannot be changed it's just optimal so now let's play the game on me move into cover so you can see how nice is the graphics quality no frame drops, no lagging, everything is nice and smooth. And this is a 3D graphics game as you can see and the camera angles are changing so quickly, smoothly, no frame drops. Everything is nice and smooth and lots of detail is there in the graphics quality as you can see. It's really nice. And the audio quality is nice as well.
So everything is looking nice and smooth. Graphics quality is good, audio quality is good, no frame drops or lagging. So now let's play some other game. Let's play Warhammer 40,000. It's also one of the most high end heavy graphics 3D game. So you can see how nice is the graphics quality of Warhammer 40,000 on Nokia 7.1. So everything is looking nice and smooth, no frame drops are happening, no lagging is happening. Especially the graphic quality is really good. So even while playing Warhammer 40,000, there is no frame drops or lagging and everything is looking nice and smooth as well. So now let's play last game for today and that's PUBG Mobile. Okay, so for some reason PUBG Mobile is not starting on Nokia 7.1, it's stuck on this screen since last 2 minutes. So I'm going to close it and try one more time. So it's still not proceeding, it's stuck on this screen. I tried two more times. So I think I need to uninstall and reinstall this game once again. So for other games, performance of Nokia 7.1 was really good. We played all of these high-end heavy graphics game and most of the time there was no frame drops at all even when we played the game on ultra high graphics quality at 60 fps. Talking about the battery temperature, it was normal most of the time but when we were playing Shadowgun Legends, it increased a bit. Right now the battery temperature is 33 degrees celsius and CPU temperature is 38 degrees celsius. So it's not so high, just a bit more than compared to what we saw in the very beginning of this video. I'm talking about the battery percentage. After playing all of these high end heavy graphics game for like 30 minutes, the battery percentage moved to 25 from 37%. So you can get the idea about the battery performance as well if you are a gamer and if you are going to play all of these high-end games so how much battery is going to be remaining in your device. So overall the gaming performance of Nokia 7.1 is really nice. It is capable of running most of the high-end heavy graphics game at highest possible graphics quality without having any issue except the issue that we faced on PUBG Mobile the game is not launching at all, it's stuck on the splash screen itself. So that's all for now friends, thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time in another video. Have a nice day.